Welcome back, Legendary Potato here, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can build your own Bedwars map in Minecraft, following the easy steps that I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this, of course, if you do, make sure you do leave a like on it. But let's get right into it here, which is of course making a Bedwars map, which is a very popular mini game for Minecraft Java and Minecraft Bedrock Editions. Everyone seems to love this mini game. They love the gameplay, they love the fast paced uh, gameplay of it, and it's just a lot of fun for a lot of players. And some people People even want to make their own maps and so I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that for yourself and it's a very simple thing I'm gonna show you guys an easy tutorial and by the end of this video you'll be able to have a Bedwars map of your own that you made by yourself so with that said let's get right into how we're going to get started with it so let's get started with that so the first thing you're going to want to do is to download the map down in the description it'll give you this map here which is a bedwars template map that i made myself which will make your building experience much easier so this isn't required you don't need to do this in order to make a bedwars map uh, but i'm going to show you guys why this map is so helpful for making a bedwars map if you don't know how to download a map in Minecraft, I'll leave a link to a tutorial as well, how to download this map, down in the description as well, so you guys can go ahead and follow that as well. So, assuming you guys are now in this world, here's the spawn area that you're going to spawn in. And so the reason why this map is actually so helpful for making the map is it makes it really easy to set up games and everything like this. So uh, basically we have eight pods here. So of each color, you put your friends or your players inside of them. You press this button and it's going to allow you to go inside of an end gateway. So if we go inside of here, you'll see is that it teleports us into here. So there's a lot going on. This is our template map. Also includes a modded villager which includes all of these items. So the shops are already done for you. You don't need to do anything here. Everything's all set, prices, everything's all done. So makes it really easy to build your Bedwars map when everything is done here. So every single side teleports you to the specified location. Uh, and as you can see, each one has their own villager. So every single one works uh, and it teleports them automatically. Makes it very easy to start up games, of course. They also come with custom spawners. And so they're going to spawn the gold and the iron. So be careful not to break these as you won't be able to get them back. But they spawn in them like this. They have a specific, uh, specific timing so that they can spawn in the items as needed. So as you can see, drop some iron, drop some gold, and so you can use those to go and buy things. Same things with these islands. These ones include diamonds, so they spawn diamonds a little bit slower. You can find some diamonds in these islands here, and you can find emeralds on the center island. So this is all set up so you could realistically play uh, Bed Wars with just the template. But assuming you want to make your own Bed Wars map, we're going to show you guys how to do that. The hard stuff, as you notice, has already been done for you. So now all you have to do is the building. So you can go ahead and replace anything you want. You can get rid of these islands. You can start completely fresh. You don't even have to keep the bed there. Uh, but the villagers and the spawners, I would recommend to keep the same. You can't really move those too much. Um, since the villager actually has uh, no AI, it's going to float anyways. Um, so the villager is going to float. So you can break the blocks below the villager if you really want to. Uh, but let's say you want to make some sort of specific theme map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make this kind of platform here out of grass. And I'm going to make a very simple example of what you can do. Obviously, you can get a lot more advanced with yours. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a simple grass platform here like this. So yeah, that's a pretty good platform. I'm going to expand out just a little bit more out this way, I think, like this, uh, something like that. Yeah, we'll do uh, like this. And so, as you can see, we got our spawners back here, so I'm also going to uh, place this back here like this, so you can get all this stuff as well. So you want to make sure you have some uh, blocks underneath these as well, so um, I'd recommend you just place something underneath here. It doesn't matter what the block is. Um, you could do something like bedrock if you really want to, but make sure you cover up these spawners so that it's guaranteed that the items are going to spawn on top. And you know, you might have to do a little bit more, but yeah, you just want to make sure that they, they're going to be pushed upwards and not to the sides. So just making sure you fill in a bunch of blocks here and then it'll always go to the top. So as you can see, um, now we're getting them spawning up here pretty frequently. So just filling that in and just kind of checking to see if it works a little inconvenient, uh, but that's just kind of the best way to make it work with this. So as you can see, now they're coming up. Um, and so you have the shop already, you have the items there. You want to make sure that you put the beds back down if you do remove them. So I'm going to put my red bed. And the colors don't matter, but I do like matching the colors with the player. 
uh, but completely personal preference as well. Uh, just keeping in mind as well how you build your island is that uh, the end gateways do have exact teleport. Um, so it'll teleport the player exactly where it teleports them originally. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind as well. So once you're happy with your island and everything's all working, you have your beds put down, of course. So let's say I put mine down right there. Everything seems to all be working. You're happy with this result. Um, then you can go ahead and start working on these islands. And so it doesn't have to be anything advanced. You want to just give the players enough room to be able to walk around and everything like that. So we'll get rid of this. This is just kind of the template design. And so I'll do some more grass here. And I'm not going to try and make anything look too fancy. Uh, I'm honestly keeping things simple. Um, but you can make the builds look really nice if you do choose to. Um, so they don't have to be big islands. I think I'll just make these um, squares like this. So um, they're about 7 by 7 here. But again, this is your world. You do whatever you want with it. Um, so we have the diamonds there spawning right in the center. And so if you want to make it a little bit easier uh, on the player, you can also create some cover points as well so that they can hide behind these. Uh, but they can also just build them themselves. So honestly, you don't have to. Uh, but just kind of having something uh, to make the island stand out as well. And also remembering to uh, put the blocks underneath the spawners as well uh, just so the items float up to the top just like that. So you don't really have to be too advanced, but um, you can throw in whatever you want. You can even like put in trees and wood or whatever you want. So let's say you want to, I don't know, make some sort of tree here. Then you can go ahead and do that. So I made a really simple tree. Honestly, it does not even look that great, to be honest. It's just a tree to kind of demonstrate what you can do with your islands, of course. Um, so yeah, this obviously doesn't look amazing, but it's just to demonstrate um, how you would kind of want to set up your map. And so then once you've done these, you might want to do them the same uh, on each of these, or you can do them uh, each individually different. However you want to do this, you can even have friends help you build as well. Uh, but you're going to have eight of these diamond islands here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight of those there as well as eight outer islands as well where the players are going to spawn. And they're pretty well distanced, um, so you can take advantage of that as well. But in the center, you're going to see the um, emeralds. And so this island is going to be the biggest. You want to have enough room for players to uh, be able to PvP since this is going to be the collision point of where you're going to see players coming to in order to get their emeralds in order to trade with their villagers as some trades are emerald exclusive. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can find any. So uh, for example, a diamond sword. Um, you're going to need uh, four emeralds for. Um, three diamonds, or sorry, three emeralds for some of this stuff, so uh, getting this, you're going to have to go and get some of that uh, from there, so see a water bucket you can get, um, some potions. So this is kind of a, a center point where you're wanting players to collide and uh, try and PvP, so uh, you could just get rid of all of this sort of stuff. It'll take you a little while to break all of these blocks. I'm not going to break the blocks for this example, but you can do whatever you'd like. Um, take your time, of course, when you're making the map. Okay, so I kind of made this uh, random design here out of some colors, which all happen to face the colors of the other islands. Um, and then a chest up here, you can fill in with your own loot. So if you want to uh, reward a player for being able to get to this chest first, you can do that. You can put chests in uh, wherever you'd like. So if you want to put a chest maybe on these islands, you can do that as well. Or even if you want to give the player some starting loot, you can give them that right there. So lots of opportunity to kind of mix it up, make every game different. Um, you could even use randomized loot tables, which I've done tutorials on, which give players random loot, uh, which is randomly generated every single time you load up the world. Uh, so I'll leave a, a link to that. So lots of links. So once you're happy with every single island, you've done everything. Obviously, I've only done these three, for example. But you're probably going to want to customize each island individually. So you can make them all the same as the other ones. So if you want to keep everyone's gameplay uh, the same, of course, then you can do that. Or if you want to make everyone's island uh, specifically unique, then you can do that as well. So like here, uh, I've just kind of made this simple grass setup. Maybe you could give some other stuff. Maybe like there's going to be uh, secret hidden loot. Maybe it's like a secret chest underground they can get to. Um, not really too sure. Uh, you can kind of play around with that or if you want to... Uh, playing around with some landscape, do whatever you want to do that. But it's really easy to set up, of course, and uh, it's really high up in the air, so nobody's going to be able to get out of the map. Um, so just kind of being careful, of course, and the spawn is way over there, which you can't really even see. So 
there's not really any sort of chance that the player here is going to want to go over there. And chances are, if that's you, you're probably not going to want to cheat anyways. Um, but yeah, really nice and simple to set up a Bedwars map on this world. Okay, so I'm in another world here, and I'm going to show you guys an example of what you can do if you really take enough time to building your world. So this is a Skywars map, uh, but it can be applied to Bedwars as well. And so I have each of the islands. These are the starting islands here. And so each player is going to spawn on something like this. They get their loot and or whatever else they need. But uh, just kind of pretend uh, like there's the item spawners here. There's like the villager over here and uh, a bed somewhere as well. And so it's basically bed wars once you apply those things, isn't it? Uh, so as you carry on, here's the islands in the center. So these would have the diamond spawner. So instead of having a chest here, uh, we would have a diamond spawner that would be spawning the diamond blocks there. Or not the diamond blocks, but the diamond minerals. And then in the center, instead of having these chests, what we would have is the emerald spawner. So that's basically how it would work. Um, this is a map that I made myself. I made all of this, and I think the result is really nice. You can make a really beautiful map if you put in enough time and effort. And each island is the same, of course. And so turning this into a bed wars is entirely possible. Here's another one. This one's themed around a desert theme. Very similar to the last one. Uh, but the flexibility, you have a lot of possibilities with this. Um, like I said, uh, same sort of concept here. You have these chests in the center, these on the sides. Just kind of imagine that they're the spawners instead, and that's where you get the bed wars coming in. So I'm hoping these are probably inspiring you in some sort of way uh, to help you make some sort of bed wars map um, using this sort of uh, template that I made for you guys. Um, it's very easy to set up. I've done all the spacing, all the modding, everything like that for you. All you have to do is use the template, put your map together, save it, and invite your friends and you're good to go. So, it's not that difficult. I've done the hard part. All you have to do is the building. Let your imagination flow free, of course. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, of course. If you did, make sure you do leave a like on it. It does help out the channel a lot. Let's me know you guys did appreciate the video, of course. Let me know if this was helpful to you guys down in the comments section. I decided to redo this video as there were a lot of questions and uh, comments regarding that video. So I decided to redo it, hopefully to help you guys out in the future of your map making. Um, if you guys do want to see more videos like these, then be sure you do subscribe, of course, and let me know in the comments section that you did subscribe, and I will reply to you. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys, and peace.